Hello fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a quick and easy zipper fly front. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got an example of a zipper fly front and all it does is conceal the zipper underneath and gives it this attractive kind of, um, I suppose, decorative trim or decorative style. You can find them on men's, which this is, and also on women's, which will be on the opposite side, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video tutorial. Now, on a sewing pattern, what it will look like is something like this. It is basically just an extension of the seam. So you find a shape like that, and then what you do will be folding it back when you come to work with your fabric. But that is basically what it looks like on a sewing pattern. Once you've cut your pattern piece onto your fabric, what you'll find is a shape like this. The first thing you need to do is sew the seam. And then once you've actually sewn the seam to the length of where your zip is going to end, then you can either sew by machine or by hand, base stitching all the way to the top and then press and that will give you a nice neat opening to a zipper. I, I hand based mine so I'll just pull that out. So you want that nice edge on both of your seams. Interface the fly front extension on both and neaten the raw edges and then one side divide it in half like so. And this is where the zip is going to be applied on this section here. So I'll just turn this over so I can get my zip into place and my pins. And then what's going to happen is this folder section, just bring this section towards you and lie that flat. You should now see your press crease line. Get your zipper, place it in position. And then pin into place. Now I'll just put it into place and then I'll turn it round to the camera so that you can actually see this the right way up because <laughs> um, I'm sure you're looking at this upside down. Remember you can, you, you can actually baste this, this as well once you've pinned all the way to where the zip ends. So this is what it would be like when you're working on it. So remember, I folded it, I'll show you there, and I placed the edge of the actual seam against the teeth of the zipper, pinned it into place, and you can baste this if, if you wish. Make sure you attach your zipper foot, and you're going to be sewing quite close to the edge of the actual fashion fabric, and it's placed quite close to the edge of the teeth of the zipper. Stitch all the way down. Removing pins as you go. And I'm going to come to a point here where I'm getting to my zipper slider. So I'm going to put my needle down, lift my foot, and open up my zipper. If it will allow me to, just turn that a little bit. This is what gets tricky about doing this technique. I'll give it a little, yes, I've got it. And then my foot back down and I'll continue sewing until the end. And reverse, back to this that. And then I need my scissors. And then just cut my threads off. So my first row of stitching or the zipper tape onto the zipper tape has happened and I'll take it to my work surface and show you the next stage. I've now done the first row of stitching in order to secure the zipper tape to the fly front and this is, um, I'm doing the version for a woman, a woman so we're making sure that when you first start your first row of stitching is going to be on the left side of the actual fly front. Now we need to sew the right side of the fly front to the zipper tape or vice versa. Turn your work over so you're working on the wrong side and 
pin into place just let your zip lie as it is you know don't force it or anything just let it lie as it is now make sure you're only working through one thickness which is just the fly extension and then pin into place and another one here remember it's just going to be the fly we're working on turn it around so you can see so I'm now going to do a row of stitching along the teeth I'm now ready to sew the other side of the zipper tape remember I'm only sewing on the fly front extension so your work should be towards the machine here and you're going to do it the same way, you're just going to sew straight down until you get to the end of the zip. So what I will do, I'll continue going all the way down and I'll take it to my work surface and show you the next step. Now sew so both sides of the zipper tape. This is the second row of stitching that I did. I'll just lie that flat and here we have the concealed zip inside there. Just open it out so you can actually see what it looks like. I'll just turn it that way so you can see it. So we're almost there now. So all we need to do next is to make sure before we actually go and do the next stage of stitching is to just this seam here, just snip it into it like so and then you've got a flat seam. So you need to make sure that happens and then turn your work over. I'll just pull that slider back up. And we now need to get the top stitching of the actual fly zip shape that we all seem to recognise when, you know, if you look on jeans, that's the sort of thing we're looking for. Um, on your sewing patterns, you can do this in advance, but I prefer to do it once I've actually got my zipper into place. So this is where it ends, so I'm going to put a pin there and I'm going to go roughly about uh, 4.5 centimetres, about 2 inches, about there. And then I'm going to base stitch along here to those points there. I've now base stitched where the actual top stitching for the fly front is going to come and I've put this pin here to indicate where I'm going to start to curve into this corner here and straighten out to the seam. Now you can if you want just do a straight line straight down and straight across um, but it's more popular to do a natural curve but it's all about your sewing project and your personal choice. Okay, I'm now halfway through sewing the shape of the fly front and approaching the zip where I want to start to curve so I'm using my hand drill positioning my needle where I want it to go take my pin out I'm going to turn my work slightly using my hand drill curve in this little feet up using my hand drill feet down and I could do one more Do this method if you want more control, um, but if you think you can do it in one go, then go ahead and do so. But do be wary of when you come to the end of the zipper here that if you've got a metal um, stopper at the end of your zip, then do do it by hand because you don't want to break the needle or damage your machine in any way. So, yeah, mine's there now. I'm happy with that. I'm going to straighten that a little more so it's all about hand wheel controlling with your feet and also the needle now you can if you wish depending on your sewing project back stitch then make sure you just go into the seam line no further and then reverse back right I finished that now happy with that and my threads and I'll take it to my work surface and show you the end result. And there we have it, the top stitching of the shape 
of a fly front that you find on trousers, uh, especially jeans. You can also find them on skirts as well. I'll just open that up. Let me just show you what it looks like that way. And pull the slider down. There we have it. And I'll also turn it to the back. What I'll do, I'll just quickly zip that up for you. And that is what it should look like on the back. So that is what you call a quick and easy, hopefully easy, um, zipper fly front. Well, I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or queries, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.